If you're wondering what ARM64 is, let's flash back a few years. During the 2000s, ARM processors led the way in the mobile revolution, providing our smartphones and tablets with serious computing power. ARM's 32-bit chips were built on reduced instruction set computer, RISC architecture, that clocked speeds of 1 to 2 GHz and became the dominant chip inside the devices we put in our pockets. Flash forward to today and you'll find ARM64 processors challenging x86 chips with high-end performance that enterprise computing demands. With capacity to power servers, desktop PCs, and the Internet of Things, ARM64 could make a legit claim to being the future of instruction set architecture. So, should you use ARM64? Let's start with what is ARM64? ARM-based CPUs are designed by ARM Holdings, who license their architecture to other companies that then develop their own processors based on ARM designs. The very first architecture, ARM v1, used 32-bit registers with a 26-bit address space. ARM evolved through several 32-bit versions, capping off with 15 general-purpose registers in ARM v7. In 2011, ARM v8 became the first ARM architecture built for 64-bit computing. ARM64 uses 31 registers that are each 64 bits wide. So that means its registers can process larger numbers and hold more memory addresses. ARM64 is compatible with ARM32, so you can easily run 32-bit applications in a 64-bit OS. Plus, you can use a 64-bit hypervisor to control a 32-bit OS. Recently, ARM has been enhanced with new instruction sets for code density, Java bytecodes, and simultaneous multi-threading, or SMT. Now that we know what ARM64 can do, let's see how it stacks up against x86. ARM64 is a reduced instruction set computing or RISC architecture, while traditional processors like x86 are built on complex instruction set computing or CISC. RISC takes away unnecessary instructions and optimizes pathways, providing a major boost in speed over CISC. That also means RISC processors use less power and don't need as many transistors. So all the advantages ARM32 had for smartphones and tablets are now showing up in desktops with ARM64. Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon all jumped on ARM64 technology to lower power usage and add speed. In 2020, Apple unveiled the first Macs with ARM64-based M1 chips and built on the success from there introducing M3 ARM64 chips in 2023. Microsoft started building native and interpretable apps for Windows 11 on ARM64 processors, and Amazon Web Services introduced Graviton ARM64 chips to power its Linux-based operating systems. With AWS, a popular choice for IT infrastructure at many companies, ARM64 has a real chance to become the future of ISA. The benefits of ARM64 can help small to mid-sized enterprises in a lot of ways. ARM64 reduces carbon footprints by completing tasks efficiently in individual devices and data centers. ARM64 processors give IT admins the power for rich graphics, grid computing, and other computing-intensive applications. ARM64 can help save on costs by making bring-your-own-device programs more effective. And with growing numbers of companies like Apple and Microsoft turning to ARM64, end users have more options to choose devices that will make them most productive. To succeed in IT today, you have to create an environment that supports ARM and x86. One way to do it is to simplify the management of heterogeneous endpoints with a cloud directory platform like JumpCloud. Check out our other videos on device management topics, and if you liked what you learned, subscribe to our channel.